Hello, this is Mrs Vickers reading chapter 29. Bradley was too excited to sleep. Mrs Ebel will be so surprised, he thought. She'll tell the whole class. Only one person got 100% Bradley. But there were so many things that could still go wrong. What if I lose it on the way to school, he worried. What if Jeff and his friends steal it? Twice during the night he got out of bed to make sure it was still safely folded inside his arithmetic book. What if I did the wrong page? He was no longer sure whether Mrs Ebel had said page 43 or 62. He tried to remember exactly what she had said to him. He sat up in horror. She never said arithmetic homework. Mrs Ebel had just said a page number. She never said a book. She could have meant history or language or any other book. He lay back down and trembled. His tears wet his pillow. He got out of bed early in the morning, checked to see if his homework was still there, then quickly got ready and left for school without eating breakfast. On the way, he stopped to make sure he still had his homework. As he opened his book, the paper fell onto the sidewalk right next to a puddle. He stared at it, horrified by what he had almost done, then quickly picked it up, placed it back in his book. He held the book tightly shut the rest of the way to school. He was one of the first ones there. He had to wait for the doors to open. He kept lookout for Jeff and his gang. He stood with his back to the school wall so they couldn't sneak behind him. He saw Andy. He thought Andy had seen him too. But if he had, he didn't do anything about it. When the doors opened, he was the first one in Mrs Ebel's class. He sat at his desk. Last seat, last row and waited. As the other kids came in, he saw them put sheets of paper on Mrs Ebel's desk. He wondered if that was their homework. He now had a new worry. He didn't know how he was supposed to turn in his homework. Jeff entered, placed a piece of paper on the pile on top of Mrs Ebel's desk, then came towards the back of the room. It must be homework, thought Bradley. What else could it be? Shawnee, he said aloud, The girl who sat in front of Jeff turned around. Are you supposed to put your homework on Mrs Ebel's desk? Don't tell me what to do, Bradley, Shawnee snapped. You worry about your homework and I'll worry about mine, okay? She turned back around. It was almost time for school to start. What if I have to put it on her desk before the bell rings or it doesn't count? He fumbled through his book for his homework, stood up, then headed for Mrs Ebel's desk. He became more nervous with each step he took. His mouth was dry and he had trouble breathing. He could hardly see where he was going. He felt like he was going to faint. Mrs Ebel's desk seemed so far away. It was like he was looking through the wrong end of a telescope. His heart pounded and his homework rattled in his hand. Somehow he had made it to her desk and tried to focus on the sheets of paper that other kids had put there. It looked like arithmetic homework page 43 but instead of feeling better he felt worse like he was going to explode do you want something bradley asked mrs ebel he looked at his homework shaking in his hand then he tore it in half and dropped it in the waste paper basket next to mrs ebel's desk he instantly felt better his head cleared and his breathing returned to normal his heart stopped pounding he walked back to his desk took a deep breath exhaled and sat down. He folded his arms on his desktop and lay his head down sideways across them. He felt sad but relieved as he gazed at the gold stars. 